Let's look at pages 18 and 19. <clears throat> at the top of the page, it's called anti-logarithms. That is a term you really do need to be familiar with, okay? So I will use it a few times going through this lesson to uh, get you familiar with it. Did I spell that right? Log, uh, nope, I forgot an A. Log, uh, rhythms. Okay. Um, <laughs> You have your handy dandy calculator? All right, we're gonna follow several steps on here to find the logarithms. You know, as I'm reading all of these steps on page 18, it really makes me feel sorry for our grandparents and our great-grandparents who this was the method they had to use when they were in school. Wow, we are fortunate to have calculators and we're gonna learn how to correctly use calculators, okay? <clears throat> Let's talk about what anti-logarithm means. Let's th think back to what a logarithm means. Can you say it with me? The logarithm is the exponent. Okay, the logarithm is the exponent. So, in this case, I'm saying 10 to the third power is 1,000. That means the 3 is the logarithm. If I rewrote this in logarithm form, it would be log of 1,000. I and mean, this is common log because the base is 10. So the log of 1,000 is 3. That means 10 to the third power would equal this number, okay? So if I wrote this as this kind of a statement, the log to the base 10, or the common log of what number is 3, what we're really asking is, what number would I get if I had 10 raised to that exponent, okay? That's what it means. <clears throat> so, let's get your calculator and I want you to do this with me. Um, this is called, so we're trying to find, instead of finding the log, we are finding the number whose log is this exponent, okay? Or another way of saying it is 10, the base 10, raised to that exponent. So what if I wrote 10 and I raise it to the 2.4897 exponent, what number would that be? Well, there's a key on your calculator, all right? Every calculator is a little bit different. On this calculator, it's right here. Okay, see the blue second function? Underneath it, it says log. All right, kind of looks like this. Right above the log key, it says 10 to the x power. Okay, that's what we were just talking about. So, if I hit the second function, and then I hit this button, it actually activates the 10 to the x power, and then I can put in this number. So on my calculator, when I do that, this is what it's gonna look like. 10, and then it's gonna look like a caret, which means raised to the power, and then it's gonna open a parentheses, and then I'm gonna type in the 2.4897, okay? And hit equals. All right, you try it with me here. Second function, log. Now type in the 2.4897. I went ahead and closed the parentheses, you don't have to. Hit equals and see if you get three point, whoops, sorry, 308.81. One, five. Now, <clears throat> that really was easy, wasn't it? In the score key, because of the method they had to use, they're gonna round every answer to four significant figures, okay? Four digits. So here's the first digit, second, third, fourth. So if this one was in the answer key, that would be the answer. They would stop with four digits, all right? Let's try another one. This one's a decimal number, here we go. Hit clear, second function, log, 0 0.25, whoops, I hit a four. I gotta hit clear, oh, I gotta start over. All right, second function, log, uh, 0 0.2513. 
0.2513, hit enter, equals, and for that one, see if you got the same thing I did, 1.78, and then I need to round that three off to a four, because I want only four digits, okay? So like I said, the hardest part of this is probably just rounding the numbers to four places, remembering to do that. All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> Second function log, and now I'm raising it to a big number, 7.9975. Enter. Wow, yeah, that is a big number, okay. nine nine four three and then one two three four zeros one two three four um i'm guessing that's what they're going to do in the score key four digits and then or maybe they'll write it in scientific notation nine point nine four three times ten to the sixth i'm not sure on that nine point nine four three times ten to the sixth would they do that all right, look at this one. This one is similar to one that you have on the page, but notice it's this thing where it says this minus 10. So let's just go ahead and subtract. 6.5932 minus 10 is negative 3.4068. All right, so now I can do second function log. And good thing I wrote that down because this calculator does not let me do bring the answer back up. So negative 3.4068. It equals, and we get a decimal number, 0 0.0003900. Um, I'm going to have four significant digits. I forget on that type of a problem if they rounded it off to 0.004 or if they did 39 or 392. Anyways, you get the idea. So this is called the anti-log. You're finding the number that you would get if you had 10 raised to the given exponent. Now, if you want to have some fun, I mean, look at all the steps that are involved if you were to try to follow the pace. But then appreciate. Say thank you, Lord, for calculators. And um, have fun with it, all right? should be a lot easier for you.